Hello everyone. Today I thought I wanted to do something uh, with a little bit of pattern, just like a pattern piece. And I'm going to play on the Hannah Mule uh, cotton paper. This is a 9 inch by 12 inch sheet. And I have just taped it down to my board. Two pieces of painter's tape um, thick. And this painter's tape is a one inch thickness so it should give me a two inch frame all the way around and no particular reason i just happened to be when i came up to my room and i got just a little bit inspired and i thought this is what i want to do and i want to play in my kiritake paints which i haven't had out in a little while um the art nouveau set and i kind of want to work in this color palette with the pink purpley ones because I always find those rather lovely just to do a set like that and I've just got a water over here to dip my brush in and I just activated those and I think I'm going to start off just making some stripes and then we're going to make pattern on top of that and I want to make a brush stroke pattern that I don't have to brush myself so I'm going to use this uh, Tim Holtz stencil called brush mark so i will link that below the video um, and i'm going to do these in acrylic paints on top of the watercolors so i just i just want to play i just want to play and see you know what what fun thing can i create doing that i'm not nothing specific in mind i just want to have some fun lay some pattern and just see, you know, what do we get? And it doesn't have to go in any particular way here with the colors. I just know that I like all these colors. Let's see, let's do this kind of greenish one. For some reason, I really love uh, that color. And this is just going to be the first layer. And then we'll mark, make, and do lovely things on top of that. Just for some type of lovely pattern piece. I'm not looking for some major masterpiece. I'm just looking to have some fun today. And do something kind of relaxing and lovely. Let's do this little, this little pink here that we haven't done. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. Just this set of colors is so pretty. Okay, I think that's exactly what I was thinking with that. And then I've got some of these acrylic paints out. So I might go ahead and lay these out on my palette paper because I just like them. I just have in my mind got some of the fusion paints because the color is the right color. This one's elderberry. These are just those mineral furniture paints so you don't have to use anything like I'm using. I'm just using these because I have them and I like them. Blick Matte Sage Blue. I love that color. We've got Light Pink Liquitex Basics because I, I like that color. And I've got Naples Yellow in the Amsterdam acrylic just because I like that color. <laughs> just pulling things out that I'm like, oh, I like that. And oh, I like that. And oh, I like that. <laughs> okay, so I want that to finish drying. Did I just put something on there? Look at that. I sure did. I don't know what that is. Maybe it was something on my hand. Doesn't matter. I can paint right over it, but it's a, it's a blue. Come back on here with a little more of that pink. That bugs me now that there was a blue that was probably watercolor powder, by the way. <laughs> when I said in the watercolor color powder video that stuff gets on everything and goes everywhere, believe me. <laughs> I probably picked it up off something on my desk, even though I've washed my desk down. Okay, let me let this dry and I'll be right back. All right, now I am just going to probably take a paintbrush. Let's try these Umbria ones, Princeton Umbria number eight. 
might put some white gesso down in case I want to mix some of this with white. Could put the clear down too, but I think I'm good with the white. And I'm going to just kind of do maybe an initial brush mark on these to get started and then um, freehand brush marks on top of that. And we'll just see, you know, what what can we get? I'm not looking for anything in particular. And I could just take this and do brush mark, which might be even easier, but I had it in my mind. I wanted it to be kind of consistent. So that's why I thought using the stencil would make it a little tiny bit easier. So I might, might start with that. And I might even do another row of that, just kind of, you know, changing up the color a little bit with maybe this pretty dark maroony color. kind of like where we've gone there and I, I want to just come on top of here now and just dot more color and just see you know like what can I get if I just add on top of these now might try a different brush to see. This one is just the Princeton Aqua Elite Round number eight. Oh yeah, I like this. And I could have kept going with the stencil, but the stencil was just kind of like to get me started basically and come back on top of these with some others and layer color like this so just white gesso I just thought it might be fun to play in some of the colors and mix it with the white and I like the white gesso because then I can kind of stack stuff on top of that like pastels pretty that is <laughs> I'm just kind of looking now to see have I kind of done similar things on all the rows 
and I, I kind of wanted them to bleed a little bit down because there was a spot or two where I had something from the bottom of the stencil touch and so I've just gone back in and we've kind of blended any of those spots up and I'm kind of looking at color and did I get enough color kind of through the piece so that it's very interesting and oh, like a interesting and kind of well spaced out like not any color dominating in one place for instance um, and just little brush marks bringing those in you could do these with like any color practically and end up with something super cool and then we could come on top of that let that dry and add another layer on top of that in like say pastels kind of feeling that so let me let this dry for a second and I'll be right back all right I think we're dry and I kid you not I just should mention this every time I notice it but I think I hear the lawnmowers I'm not even kidding like it doesn't matter what day I'm filming this is a Monday the mowers have like Friday as their day but if I film on a Monday they show up on a Monday if I film on a Tuesday they show up on a Tuesday if I film on a Wednesday they show up on a Wednesday and I'm just like are you kidding me <laughs> <laughs> kind of pull out some colors that kind of are in here but maybe just even slightly different and maybe accent some of our brush marks with some extra pattern and color that kind of fits within this color scheme but maybe is a tiny bit different like this lovely green I didn't really have that in my paint colors that I pulled out so I might just add touches of that on one of the rows that we did some brush marks because I like it just a little touch in there just for some a pop of interest and I'm almost feeling like maybe this color because I love it these are the Mungyos oil pastels and then I just hit this with my Sennelier oil pastel fixative which I moved behind something else the other day um, yeah so if I'm using pastels I'll hit that with this oil pastel fixative really quick because oil pastels never really seem to dry and you can get that you should I mean it should be kind of obvious too because these oil sticks <laughs> stay wet forever so if they're not drying in the stick you know they're kind of not drying on the paper is kind of what I'm thinking there in my mind is how that's a working um, so yeah so I just go and hit this with that oil pastel spray and then um, it seems to harden them up and let them kind of do their thing where otherwise they'd stay moist and maybe smudgy A little touch in there okay do we like that are we done do we feel like we need any other colors I don't know I'm kind of liking that these are rather lovely I might need something right on top of these what about what about and you know you can look at these and live with them for a while and then later think oh I need you know such and such color in there what if we throw like a little tiny bit of a lavender in here it's kind of in the same family with this lovely darker maroon color that I threw in there doesn't this look very springy because we're going into spring when I'm doing this video and I'm definitely feeling like spring it's a little cooler today we've had in the 70s we're about to drop back into the uh, winter temps for a day or two and then back up to the 70s I mean I really feel like this year we didn't really have a winter um, so I'm afraid I'm afraid the bugs are going to be out in full force this year uh, I don't look forward to that mosquitoes love me oh look at that okay I'm feeling that I actually kind of feeling like I'm there for today I wanted just yummy pattern and when we're all done and peel the tape let's just see what we get and I've just I love this paper because it does not 
require any extra effort on my part to not tear it <laughs> when I peel the tape. I don't got to get the heat gun out or anything. Um, these were just side by side on here when I put these on here. And then when we get that clean edge, when we get that clean edge, ooh, I'm already excited. Uh, sometimes it's just about color and pattern and texture. <gasps> oh, look at that. Look at that. And a clean edge to really top it and finish it off as a piece of art. Beautiful, beautiful. This is what I was feeling today. It's relaxing to sit and just kind of layer color like that. Oh, look how beautiful that is. <gasps> oh, yeah. Okay, so even though we started with, you know, a, a stencil, we didn't maintain the stencil use to give it a little more organic feel and pattern to it as we were going. But check that out. That's exactly what I wanted. Just something fun, easy, meditative, just something that you could kind of add to and then look at and think about. Beautiful pattern and color today. Look how pretty these are. Hope you enjoy trying something like this and you had fun painting with me today and I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.